Alright, here we go. The next steps on the bike are I'm going to be doing some aerodynamic stuff like fiberglass and I've never really done it so the first step of that is I'm going to build in some uh, some weld on mounts like some steel structure so that I can kind of get a better idea of how this is all going to be laid out. I had my wife uh, take some photos of me and then I did some drawings of, of it from the side like real crappy ones just to get a better idea of where the mounts are going to be and how I'm going to go about doing this. So the next steps I'm going to cut some metal. And I'm going to bend them up and get them in a generalized shape. And we'll look at it afterwards and see if it's what we want. Okay, so um, this stuff is pretty toxic to to sand, the foam and everything. So um, you're gonna have to wear a mask, but unfortunately there's a shortage of masks right now. So here's a creative solution. If you got a pair of boxer briefs. You take this, you rotate around. Okay, so you look like a ninja. So I started out with this technique, which is the foam technique. I bought um, a bunch of insulated foam, I've cut some slices out, and I'm hot gluing it to the main metal structure that I put on last night. And I'm doing some rough blocking, I'm going to get some sandpaper um, and try and get some smoother curve to this first. So I'm not making a mold, I'm gonna just going to lay up over the top of that. So it looks pretty good so far, if you can see it on the edge here, it's not a bad contour and it matches the outside of my body. Yeah, so I'm going to keep cracking, get the other side done, um, and probably go buy some more sandpaper and hot glue. I need way more hot glue. This is not sticking. This way, stack them up this way. Okay. 
So I got the majority of it blocked in. I got both sides um, rough cut, and I've been trying to figure out the shape before I make templates, because I was gonna make some templates for this side and then match to the other side. But I think it's, it looks a little too bulbous, so I might cut this down like an inch and a half, because my butt's actually about an inch to an inch and a half in from where this point is. So I'll cut along this line and sharp, uh, kind of like make this go back a little bit. Uh, a little bit sharper because right now it looks kind of like a bumblebee big bumblebee butt and for the front i'm going to still work on the foam for the front wheel but i'm going to try and get the shape in a little bit better um, the next plans are after i shape all this i'm going to be uh sprinkling aluminum foil to it and then laying up over the top of that i'll probably do three layers of fiberglass and then i'll sand and put one extra layer like a a nice layer over the top of that and that's kind of the plan but yeah, still flying by the seat of my pants. If you guys have any suggestions for me, please let me know. Yeah. I'll probably be posting this before I do the layup uh, for the fiberglass. So, yeah, let's keep on trucking. Needs a little bit up there. And a little bit there. And flatten out on this side. But it's getting close. A couple more hours. Ah! One last sand, and I think I'm ready to drop it on the ground and take an overhead view so I can sand out some of the other discrepancies. And then, yeah, um, not, I'm not going to be too picky on this project, so if it's a little wavy, it's my first time, and whatever.
triple chin. I got a little impatient and basically uh, I've stopped really shaping it. I got it really close to the overall shape I want it to be. It's not quite symmetrical, but I'm okay with that. I'm kind of feeling hard and feeling fast. Um, that way if something goes wrong, I'm not like out a bunch of more hours of shaping. But so now I've glued up some aluminum foil with just some spray glue um, to the surface and you can see there's some seams here. I'm gonna lay a really thick piece of fiberglass over it. I have these welding blankets that I got from Harbor Freight. They're gonna serve as the, as the first layer and they're super heavy mat, so they should be good. Um, I laid it over, there's a little bit of, of seam there, but it really mellows everything out. So this is gonna be it for this video. I think I'm gonna post this, let you guys tell me I'm wrong in the thousands of different ways and see if I can fix some stuff. But over this weekend, I'll probably be laying up the epoxy fiberglass setup and uh, we'll see how it goes. So thank you so much for watching, really appreciate it. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe and let me know if you want me to grow the mustache back. I'm in quarantine, so I can do whatever I want at this point. I got another month, so. All right, thanks guys.